Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Remember, it's a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, then go ahead and do so. And you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. And you have here the number seven, seek the truth. Okay, so in matters of the heart, in matters of love, it's telling you seek truth the truth okay as you can see in this photo it's a little girl who was in the darkness okay but she's opening up the curtains to find the truth seek the truth okay it's kind of like now she's courageous enough to really see the reality of things instead of sitting in some kind of denial and there's two images there of two it looks like two males okay right above her so Tune into that energy to see what that means for you with the number seven. It's a spiritual number. Number seven, seek the truth when it comes to matters of love, when it comes to matters of the heart. Okay, now let's put that one on the side and continue with your reading. Let's see what this is all about. What is this bringing you during this time? All right, so here you have, okay, so six of pentacles okay uh i see a lot of pentacles already whoa a lot of pentacles okay i see two aces the ace of pentacles the ace of cups lovely okay now also you could be dealing with aries energy capricorn virgo or taurus pisces cancer or scorpio i see all of the signs libra gemini aquarius at the bottom of the deck you have the seven of cups so look at that you're going to have options, okay? You're going to have a lot of options. So whether you know this or not, maybe you already have options and you're trying to make a decision. What should you choose? Who should you choose? What should you do? Make sure that these options aren't just distractions because again, even though this reading could be you towards them, them towards you, take it as it resonates. There's this energy here of somebody who might potentially be distracting themselves on purpose with outside things, options, right? In the form of people, of uh, work-related matters, family-related matters, whatever this is. Is, but a lot of times these distractions are insignificant, meaning sometimes people who don't really have the courage within them to pursue what they really want or who they really want, okay, because maybe they feel like they're not good enough for real love or for whatever it is that they really want, they settle for these other options, okay? So some somebody here might be doing that. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but also just know that you will have options, okay? Now, I do see here the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like you're either being breadcrumbed, okay? Feeling breadcrumbed, or there's some kind of energy of breadcrumbing somebody here, okay? Somebody here might be giving just enough to the connection to keep it going, but it's like, okay, you kind of know that you want more out of it, or this person, you know, perhaps... Are only, they're only kind of giving enough to you. Something here is saying that they're, you're getting attention. Yes, you're getting whatever you want from the situation, but I feel like it's not enough, okay? It's just, it's just a little bit. Now, I do see here in your challenge position with the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit challenging for you to focus in on, I feel like it's more so the energy of feeling comfortable in your independence, in your individuality, for some, you might be uh, caught up in some kind of a codependent connection, okay? A codependent union. You know, codependent connections are those connections where you know that it's not you know, everything that you've ever wanted, but you know, you're like, okay, well, this person at least does this right for me, or they at least do that for me. And so you kind of stay in it because you're like, well, at least I get this out of it. At least I get that out of it. Right. You know, so that's kind of like, you know, a little bit challenging for you to get out of because it kind of becomes a comfort zone, right? It kind of becomes comfortable. Well, you're already comfortable with the way that things have been going, but it's not really what you want. You know that you want more out of it. Okay. Now here with the Ace of Pentacles, what this is saying is that you actually do want more. You don't just want breadcrumbs. You don't just want a little bit of attention. You want all the attention. You want to be the center of attention. You want to be there 
only one. Okay. Again, this is talking about love, but it could also be money related matters. Maybe you want more money. Maybe you want a person that is financially stable, who has more money, who can give you more money, whatever this is, this could also be related to energies there of commitment. Maybe you want commitment. You know, maybe right now you're stuck in a, some kind of uncommitted situation. And you're like, I want commitment. I want this energy of something long-term marriage, that sort of thing, but you want something big. You want more. Okay. You don't want to settle for anything less than what you know you deserve. Now, the root of the issue is the Ace of Cups. That's the root of the issue. The root of the issue is the fact that either somebody here is emotionally blocked off or this individual is giving too much to the connection because they're fully, deeply in love while the other one is just kind of giving a little bit. Okay. So that is the root of the issue. The root of the issue is that one person might not be fully emotionally invested. Okay. Now I do see here with the two of a pentacles in the recent past, somebody here was either juggling two things, two people, two situations, and, or in the recent past, somebody was undecided, whether they were undecided because they had too much going on in their lives, career matters, family matters, personal matters, whatever it is. But there was this energy here of juggling too many things at once in the past and not really paying attention to one single thing at a time. Okay. Now coming towards you in your opportunity, I'm liking this. Okay. The fool you have here, your own energy. Okay. The energy here of a brand new beginning, the energy here of, you know, um, kind of taking a leap of faith, right? Taking a leap of faith into something new. So it could be Aries that you're dealing with, doesn't have to be, but I do see that there is this energy coming towards you in your opportunity of a brand new beginning. There's going to be a brand new door that's going to open up for you. So open it, take a leap of faith. Don't think too much about it. Okay. This is something here that is coming in that I feel like you've been waiting for. You've been seeking the truth. And once you start seeking the truth, even deeper, even more. Okay. Maybe some of you guys haven't even started. Start seeking the truth of the matter. Don't settle for denial. Don't settle for something that you really are not fully comfortable with. Okay. Now here with the five of wands, yeah, in your subconscious thoughts, there's going to be some kind of conflicting energies. I feel like either you feel internally conflicted, emotionally conflicted, mentally conflicted, or there's a battle happening between your mind and your heart. Should you listen to your heart or should you listen to your mind? There's some kind of energy there where some of you guys also might be thinking about maybe an argument that you had or some kind of conflict that you had with a person or, you know, that kind of energy. But I feel that there's a lot of conflicting energy in your subconscious thoughts. Now here also with the seven of swords. Yeah, this is how somebody here sees you interesting. So somebody feels like you might be acting a little bit sneaky, maybe hiding something from them. Again, it could be vice versa in the reverse, take it as it resonates, but this is how somebody sees the other individual. Okay. Trust issue. Somebody here is not really trusting the other person. Why? Because one person is acting rather sneaky. They're either lying or they're not really telling you the full truth. Okay. Now here with the King of Pentacles, your action advice is, yeah, your action advice is to commit fully to the situation. And also, this is all about you standing your ground, you know, standing firm in the energy of whatever it is that you want without settling for less. The King of Pentacles doesn't settle. Okay. Also what the King of Pentacles is saying is focus in on yourself, your stability, your money. Maybe right now it's time for you to, you know, maybe focus on your career in order to attract more love. That sort of thing. Okay. Make sure that your finances are in order to attract more love or to settle something here, you know, with regards to love, a love situation, whatever this is for you. But I do see that this is all about about you standing firm in your foundation. Okay. It's kind of like, you know, I feel like for some of you guys, somebody sees you as them kind of wanting to be around you because they feel this energy of comfort and security when they're around you. Okay. Now here also the three of pentacles. Yeah. So what this means is that learn to negotiate, learn to work something out, learn to, you know, uh, work as a team together as a team. Okay. For some of you guys, um, for a very small group of you guys, it might be a third party situation, but I don't really see many signs of that. We're going to see in the extended reading, but 
for most of you guys, it's not a third party situation. Okay. And it just means that you need to learn how to negotiate with other people. Okay. Maybe this can also be bringing you a potential opportunity in love to perhaps kind of like in, in a job situation, maybe you're going to meet somebody through work, that sort of thing. Because remember something new is coming whatever new thing that is coming, jump in. It could be an opportunity to make more money, which will lead to you finally finding the love of your life. Or it could also be an opportunity to show off your skills, okay, your skill sets, you know, and you being recognized for whatever it is that your skill sets are. And through that energy, you might meet somebody, okay. For others of you guys, it just means that there's this energy of you working something out with somebody. Don't let it go just like that. Don't, you know, just quit the situation. It just means work something out. Okay. Try to, you know, kind of come to terms with, okay, let's have a win-win situation, right? All right. So we're going to be going into the extender to see who this person is, because I do see there's a brand new beginning. I do see that you do desire this commitment. Okay. And this commitment, I do feel like it's coming for you. Okay. But also somebody is acting a little bit sneaky. So we're going to see what this person is all about their energies, what this is all turning into. I'm going to dive deeper into this person's subconscious thoughts about either deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and unfold for you. What is going to be the final result? And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. If you want to check out the link to the extent Extended, it's down in the description box below. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below, even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.